Hey, hope you're doing well. This is Edgar from Solo Marketer, and today's question is how to enroll a student uh, in a course on system.io. There's basically three ways that I would do it. One is a manual way. Um, if you just want to grant someone access, like a friend or, 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 or a client or whoever, just give them access and they get it immediately without them signing up anywhere, doing anything. The second one is uh, they can opt in for like a, let's say they would opt in for a lead magnet. But in this case, it's like a free course. And uh, the third way is if they pay for it, which is, you know, very often the case where they pay for, let's say, $97 for a course. And then as part of the purchase, they get delivered the... Uh, the login, de the login details, the access details to the course. So uh, the first way would be the manual one, right? So that would be if you go to, if you have a course set up in the back end, right? In your system.io account, and you go to that specific course you want to give access to, you click on it, and then you go to add student. So I'm just going to put in my name and then all the information you have you have the options of full access which is just give them the course partial which is you can give them like specific modules of uh, of a of a course and uh, there's also drip content if the course is set up in a way where uh, they this is for like bigger ones like the high ticket courses where they get like weekly drips and uh, that's kind of the but that's a more uh, yeah more complicated way which is usually if you do like low ticket products or you just you want people to see the course and just go through it at their own pace you just go full access that's what i usually do um and yeah if you do that and then you go to contacts if you go to contacts it's going to be here that's going to be the contact now let's actually do this if you go to courses this course right the same one and you can check students you can see there we go access and you can see their progress and then and the last time they they actually checked the course and all that stuff uh that's the first way the second one would be you would do let's say you have a funnel and you have a free sign up so this is like an imaginary uh, product imaginary just just situation so you would if you want them to give like a sign up for a free course or a free challenge or whatever you would do an opt-in page obviously where they give you their name and email and uh so yeah it would look something like this you know the first name and email and then the opt-in button you would connect that to a course let me actually as i tested it out let me just do it again from scratch just so you can see so um yeah the opt-in form you click on the button on the opt-in page add automation rule and add action enroll in course and then yeah full access or drip content and then you select the course obviously there we go save so go test it out see if it works it should it's a pretty simple thing but uh, always test it out whether it's a sign up purchase whatever uh, always make sure that you know with your own email sign up and then gonna go in the back end and see whether it shows up in your student dashboard right uh, and the third way is let's just save this one let's leave third way is if they pay for a course this one is a little bit more complicated but it takes like a minute or two um go to a sales page so you yeah you have a sales page and once they make a purchase they get access so what you have to do is you have to set up yeah let's delete this as well just so i can show you now let's do the whole thing just so i can show you how it all connects so you have a sales page, but it's not connected to a course yet, right? The sales page is ready. Everything is outlined, you know, they're ready to purchase, but you actually have to uh, connect it to the course. Plus you have to give it a price point. So it would be under resources, courses, and you select the course, which course you want to give access to as they purchase. And then again, you have the full access, partial drip. That's all up to you. For this one, I'll just do full access, save. All right, and then you can do the the price plan and, and the coupons and all that stuff. Um, yeah, that should be it. If I uh, if I missed out on something, just yeah, just leave a comment below, um, and I'll make sure to answer. Or if you have any other questions about other stuff related to System.io, 
or maybe some some you know some technical things or maybe something bigger like how to create a sales funnel whatever if there's enough interest in the comments or people are interested i'll make sure to you know create a video for that as well and uh yeah and but for this one that's it and and yeah talk to you another time bye